Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with Trotec Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into creating print and cut applications. From the graphic design process to working with PDS equipment to showcase the printing process on Mamaki UV printers. Then using the Trotec Ruby software and laser systems equipped with a print and cut camera system to produce perfectly cut printed products. For the graphics portion of this video, I will use the CorelDRAW software to showcase how to create the print and cut designs. Open CorelDRAW, then import or design the graphic that will be printed. Select or add an outline around the graphic and convert that line to a red line. This will be the laser cut line. Now select the ellipse tool from the left toolbar and drag out a small circle. This circle needs to be 0.25 inches or smaller. This will be used as the registration marks. Select and give the circle a black fill and black outline by right and left clicking on the color black on the color palette. Select and click Ctrl plus D on the keyboard to duplicate. Then hold the Ctrl key and move the duplicated black circle to the other side of the graphic. Select both registration marks and click Ctrl plus D on the keyboard again to duplicate. Then hold the Ctrl key and move the duplicated circles to the bottom side of the graphic, effectively placing the black registration dots on all four sides. The location of the registration marks can be set anywhere outside the cut line for accurate alignment. Select and group these registration marks together. Take that graphic and duplicate it for multiple prints. In this example, a full 12 by 24 sheet of material will be used. Select everything, then click Ctrl plus D on the keyboard to duplicate, then hold the Ctrl key and move the duplicated graphic onto one side. Then select Ctrl plus D on the keyboard again and again to create a row to fit the sheet size. Now select that entire row, click Ctrl D on the keyboard to again duplicate, Hold the control key and move the entire duplicated row of graphics down to fill the 12 by 24 inch sheet. Once complete, separation into print and cut can be achieved with pages or layers. I will use separate pages in this example. Select everything, then click the drop down menu, edit, then click copy. Now at the bottom of the page, click the plus button to add a new page. Right click on that new page, select rename and name that page print. Then click the drop down menu edit again and then select paste. Now select each of the red lines and delete them on this page. Click the plus button at the bottom of the page to add a third page. Then click the drop down menu edit then paste, select the printed graphics and delete each of them. Right click on that new page, select rename and name that page cut. Select all the registration circles and remove the fill making them a black outline by left clicking on the slash on the top of the color palette. Select one of the cut files then click the drop down menu edit, then copy again. Then again move to the bottom of the page, clicking the plus button again to add a new fourth page. Right click on that page and rename this page single cut. Then click the drop down menu again, selecting edit, then paste. This file can be used as a single cut as needed. Now right click on the first page design, select rename, and rename that page if desired. Now go back to the cut page, select all excess registration marks and delete most of them. When cutting a full sheet, only three registration marks are necessary, but the more there are, the more accurate the cut. So I will leave five for this full sheet cut. I now have four pages, everything I need for a print and cut design, a single cut, a full sheet cut, a print page, and a master design file. Once complete, save the design file and then save each page as a separate file. Printed material for this example is our digital print series plastic. This is a special laser friendly plastic that is also print receptive with UV printing. In addition, multiple surfaces and core color combinations are available, so it can also be laser engraved. 
allowing for print, cut, and engrave application. Scan this QR code to order this plastic. This example will have the printing done by PDS Equipment, printing gold mirror, digital print series plastic on a Mamaki UV printer. Scan this QR code for more information on PDS and the Mamaki UV printer technology. For printing, remove the film and then place the plastic into the printer. Then open the print page of the design file and save it as a CMYK, EPS, or PDF file format. Then open that print file into the Mamaki Raster Link software. Select the design, check alignment, then select Go and start the printing process. The Mamaki UV printer will then print directly onto the surface of the plastic using special UV curable inks, producing a durable, high quality, direct to material printed surface. Once printed, remove from the printer and repeat as needed. The finished print is now ready for laser cutting using any Trotec laser machine equipped with a vision print and cut camera option. This example will use the Speedy 400 120 watt laser equipped with a Vision print and cut camera as well as the Vision design and position overhead camera system. Since the print and cut camera is only placed on when needed, install it on the laser system by simply sliding the camera onto the upper grooves of the right side of the red focus head on the laser system. To hold the camera in place, screw in the two brass screws until finger tight. Once the camera is installed on a supported Trotec system, the Vision Print and Cut camera will look like this on the laser head. For the first cut, I mechanically cut a single design from the printed sheet with a shear to show the process on a single cut. Place into the laser anywhere on the vector cutting grid, then move the focus head over the plastic and focus the laser. Close the laser lid and open the Trotec Ruby software. Save the single cut file designed earlier as a standalone file, then import or drag that file into the prepare screen in Ruby. Then using the vision, design and position overhead camera view, move the cut design file over the live image of the printed plastic. If an overhead camera is unavailable, then you can use the red laser pointer to position the graphic by simply moving the red laser pointer to one of the printed registration marks. Then moving the cut graphic close to the same registration mark. Both methods work just as well to get the cut design close enough for the print and cut camera to find the registration marks and fine tune the final cut file. Once positioned, select the material from the materials database. This example will use 1 16th inch Trolase laminate plastic. Select the laser parameter once the parameter is specified, click to turn on the print and cut option on the top toolbar. Now back at the materials parameter, click on the color black and assign that color to print and cut. Then select store and make a new setting or overwrite the existing setting if desired. Then select push to laser. Push start on the laser. When started, the laser will actively search for each of the black registration marks in the design and automatically size, skew, or rotate as needed so that the cut file perfectly matches the printed design. The laser will then cut the design. Once cut, open the laser and remove for finished result. Here is the final print and cut examples from our single cut example. For a whole sheet or even multiple printed sheet, the process is the same. First, place the sheet into the laser Open Ruby and import or drag the matching sheet design file. Select the same material now already set for print and cut. Then push that sheet file to the laser. Like before, the laser will locate the registration marks, then automatically size, skew, or rotate so that the laser can cut the file to exactly match the printed design. The laser will then proceed to cut the design.
Once the cut is complete, open the laser and pull away extra plastic for the finished result. In this example, eight printed samples. In-house UV printing combined with a Trotec laser system using a print and cut camera system allows for so many profitable applications, such as printed signs, displays, or point of sale materials, quickly produced for a competitive advantage in the marketplace. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.